FB tweet. Pinterest email send text message print. 6 people are dead and at least 9 more have been injured in the mass shooting in Sacramento early Sunday morning, according to police. The shooter or shooters remain at large. Sacramento Police Chief Catherine Lester told reporters at an early morning news conference that officers were in the area of 10th and K Streets around 2 a.m. local time Sunday morning when they heard shots being fired, per ABC 10. The officers located a large crowd at the scene of the downtown shooting and discovered multiple people, unfortunately, had been shot, she said. In total, six people died and at least nine others were transported to local hospitals, Lester told reporters on Sunday. On Twitter, the Sacramento Police Department said there were 15 victims in total. So far, no arrests have been made in the case. Now, law enforcement is looking for the public's help in identifying any suspects. Lester asked anyone with information to contact authorities to help us solve the case. This is a really tragic situation, she told reporters, via ABC 10. The Sacramento Police Department said in a tweet that the area between 9th Street to 13th Street is currently closed between L Street and J Street as officers investigate the shooting. Police are asking people to avoid the area while the scene remains active. Sunday's shooting occurred a short distance away from Golden One Arena, where the NBA's Sacramento Kings play their home games. The Kings are scheduled to play the Golden State Warriors at the venue at 9 p.m. Sunday, just hours after the shooting. Barry Oxius, a community activist that works with Sacramento's Voice of the Youth, told ABC 10 that he came upon the chaotic scene around 2.30 a.m., calling it just horrific. A lot of victims with blood, just watching some of the families that didn't know if their loved one was alive, running, trying to figure out what was happening, people distraught, people discombobulated, Oxius told the outlet. Oxius continued to detail what he witnessed in an interview with the Associated Press, The first thing I saw was like victims. I saw a young girl with a whole bunch of blood in her body, a girl taking off glass from her, a young girl screaming saying, they killed my sister. A mother running up, where's my son, has my son been shot? He recounted. Sacramento Mayor Daryl Steinberg issued a statement following the shooting, writing, Words can't express my shock and sadness regarding the tragic accident. The numbers of dead and wounded are difficult to comprehend, he added. California Governor Gavin Newsom also released a statement Sunday morning after the shooting in the state's capital, noting that he and his wife Jennifer send our heartfelt condolences to the family, friends, and to the wider community impacted by this terrible tragedy. Sadly, we once again mourn the lives lost and for those injured in yet another horrendous act of gun violence, Newsom wrote. The governor then promised that his administration will continue to work closely with law enforcement during the investigation. What we do know at this point is that another mass casualty shooting has occurred, leaving families with lost loved ones, multiple individuals injured, and a community in grief, Newsom added. Sunday's shooting comes about a month after a man shot and killed his three daughters and a fourth person at a church in suburban Sacramento before turning the gun on himself. Rising gun violence is the scourge of our city, 
state, and nation, and I support all actions to reduce it, Mayor Steinberg said in another tweet on Sunday. Our new police chief, Kathy Lester, has made it a top priority, he added, and I stand firmly behind her. Newsom also condemned the ongoing gun crisis in his statement on Sunday. The scourge of gun violence continues to be a crisis in our country, and we must resolve to bring an end to this carnage, the governor said.